Hi everybody, uh, I sent out this email this morning and I've already gotten a few questions about it. So I wanted to review um, the process around some of the security notices that I sent out um, and how you can understand the recommendations that I make. So here's the email. It basically is referring to this collection number one, which is um, not so much a breach, but like a, a huge list that was found containing um, billions of records. And those records are uh, including email addresses and passwords. And what people will do with those is they'll take that list of email addresses and passwords and they'll try it to try to use them to log in to um, various services. So they may try to use it on Gmail or Facebook or bank accounts. Um, every place you can imagine they'll try to use those that email pass email address and password combination to log in. Um, now when I get these notifications uh, what I look for is really the number of CSDO accounts, the number of accounts in our domain that have been um, affected by it. And um, well, people will get these emails and they say, well, what am I supposed to do about this? Um, so I want you to understand uh, what exactly this means. So this doesn't mean that the email address and password are your, G your Google account password. Okay, It doesn't mean that the password to your Google account has been breached. Um, Here's, here's kind of what I'm talking about. So here's an example of a login page from a, a, a popular website, right? So this is the NPR login page. If you wanted to make a comment on it, you would put in your email address, and your email address would essentially function as your username. Now, whatever password you use um, would be paired with that email address. So if, for example, NPR.org uh, was hacked and they were able to download all the lists of emails and password combinations, um, this is what they would get. They would get your, your email address as a username and they would get the password for the NPR site. That doesn't necessarily mean that they can use that to log into your Google account um, or your Facebook account. But the danger here is that a lot of people reuse their passwords. A lot of people use the same password um, for lots and lots of different sites. And that's why, uh, if you read my emails, I will often talk about the importance of making sure that your passwords are unique. Um, if you don't usually, if you usually repeat your passwords, I highly, highly recommend you look into using some kind of password manager or, or even just a book to make it easier to keep your passwords unique. Now, where do I find out about this stuff? Um, so here's a website that I use, which will notify people about these breaches. So you can see right here is the collection number one accounts, and it'll tell you us about, uh, about the breach. So I, as an individual, am signed up to get notified whenever um, one of my accounts shows up in this. So if you look at you know my personal email address or my CSDO account, I will get notified. But as a domain admin, I also have that set up um, to search the domain. So anything on our domain, which is csdo.org. Okay, that's how I get notified about these. Now, how do you use this? Well, if you don't, they're not going to exactly post the list of passwords, and that's because we don't want they don't want to proliferate um, this uh, these lists and make the breaches even worse. But what they can do is they can save a list of those passwords so that you can check if your password has been breached. So for example, if I were to check a password and I'm, I'm just typing in the word password right now, it'll tell me that this password has been seen millions of times before. So this would be a good thing to check. Um, pick, a, pick, Especially if you use a password over and over again, which I don't recommend, but if you do use a password over and over again, um, you should check if it's already been found in one of these lists. And therefore, it's public. Um, you know that people are going to try it in association with your email address, and it's a really, really good idea to change it. Um, other things you can do are look at the various... Uh, companies or organizations that have been the, the, the target of breaches. So, for example, um, Adobe was a huge one. If you had an Adobe account in 2013, then your account was likely breached. Okay? Um, so this is a really great resource just for understanding security and understanding the environment. So again, to review my recommendations here, um, I can't tell you that your CSDO account um, is in danger or not, you know, your particular Google account is or is not. Um, that depends on the password you use and how 
how many different places you use that password and if it's been breached. Um, but general recommendations are make sure your passwords are unique, check your passwords, and really you can sidestep this whole issue by using two-step verification. So two-step verification means that when you try to sign in on a new device, you'll get a text message code to make sure that you are who you say you are um, and that your phone number, you know, your phone is related to that account. Um, this will stop dead in its tracks almost all attempts to break into an account using a breach password. So I highly recommend that everybody turn that on. Um, if you're looking for more information about security, uh, or better ways that you can protect yourself, you're going to want to go to the cyber safety page on the CSDO site. Uh, here's me in a presentation that I did, and I walked through a lot of different um, explanations about you know, things that you can do to make yourself safer. <laughs>